his own story was as curious as his narrative. The tale of his life is the tale of a writer of incredible vision, an astute analyst and pundit, a lyricist, compassionate and callous. So now I'm going to switch to actual case studies of this happening. I'm going to show you two friends of mine. One guy, who in here likes like sushi? Oh, you are going to. Now, I'm not here to sell this product. But look, I'm not a sushi guy. But I, if it's cool, I'm, I, I really dig this thing. I really dig this. You're going to love it. Hey, Kickstarter. My name is Bryce, and I'm the inventor of the Sushi Quick. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's begin. Have you ever wondered how those sushi chefs make sushi? Have you ever asked yourself, man, I'd love to make some of that sushi? Well, over a year ago, that was me. I've been a sushi fan for a very long time, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to try making it. So I went out and bought one of these, and the results weren't pretty at all. I got rice all over my hands, didn't know how to lay the rice, the nearest shoe was moving all over the place, and this wasn't a dishwasher safe. So I said to myself, there's got to be a better way. So I went out and worked really hard and designed the best sushi kit in the world. Sushi Quick. Let's begin. Let's begin. So what makes Sushi Quick so effective? Well, when you're a beginner, just starting to roll sushi, some of the hard things to do is how much rice to put on a nori sheet. How do you know how much to put? And how do you know how to spread it? When I was using one of these, nori sheet was going all over the place. Again, I had nothing to spread it with. I had sticky rice all over my fingers. It was just a nightmare. So this is where I, we invented what we call the training frame. The training frame locks it into place. And then with these walls here, they're perfectly measured for the right amount of rice. Something else that's extremely difficult to do when you're just starting out is laying the rice. Again, it's sticky, it's all over your fingers. So we decided to create a really cool non-stick paddle. Another thing that's extremely difficult to do is cutting the sushi roll. I said I need to come up with a really cool roll cutter. And we designed it so you can grab the roll while you're cutting. So when you're done making the roll, you put it on top of the roll with the knife, grab the roll, and evenly cut eight pieces. So Sushi Quick is a lot more than just rolling ingredients and just rolling raw fish. It's a way of life. It's a healthier way of life. Something that's close to my heart is childhood obesity. And one thing that I wanted for Sushi Quick is for it to be fun and easy so the kids could have fun using it as well and have fun rolling healthier ingredients. Raw fish is just 10% of what you can roll with this. You can roll anything. You can um, roll any vegetables. Uh, I love to make lentil rolls, and lentil avocado rolls, chicken rolls, steak roll. Anything that you want to roll, you can roll with the sushi quick. Honestly, it costs a lot of money to produce the sushi kit. It requires five injection molds, and I'm counting the shipment and the first order of the products that we need to get you guys to roll with us. Something else that I want to do is I want to get a life-size version of the Sushi Quick made and set the world's record for the world's biggest roll, which I think would be a lot of fun. So please, support us. We appreciate all your support, and we look forward to rolling with you. You could not have done this 15 years ago. So if you have a cool idea, and you have just enough to create a prototype, you can get on here and get backers. Now, something else though. Bryce sells real estate. Bryce is a seller. Look what he did. He's telling the story. He's part of this target market, so he knows exactly what to say to them. He talked about the benefits, not the features, right? right? So there's a problem. Every time you know, I try to make sushi, it's sticky, rice gets everywhere, and I don't know how to cut it, it's a mess. And then he created, he talked about a purpose larger than just making money. Right? 
well, can you just give me some money so I can pay myself every two weeks? No. The other really cool benefit to this is manufacturers now, they're starting to visit these sites so that they can find out the next product that they need to jump on. So Bryce got a call from an overseas manufacturer that says, look, I'd like to partner with you to produce these for you. Buy them from you at a low wholesale cost so that I can sell them here. So that's the other benefit. Remember, creating the buzz, sell, sell, sell. Using tools like this, you can do it on a grand, grand scale. And if you actually get funding, people are gonna notice it. Can you set it in private just in case there's other ideas like that? And okay, let's stop there. Okay, sorry. Let's stop. No one wants to steal your idea. Everyone thinks this. Everyone thinks, you know, someone's gonna steal, no one wants to steal your idea. Look, I'm talking to an entrepreneur, um, no, he, well, he's sort of an entrepreneur. He's thinking about it. And he says, well, he has a really nice blog with, you know, tons of, uh, of, uh, of subscribers. And I'm like, man, you can really do something with that. I said, why don't you, you know, do this? He goes, yeah, but if I, if I do that, if it's out there, then my competition's going to see it, and then they'll do it. And I said, do you really think you're the only one on the entire planet who has that idea? There's someone else thinking about your idea. The difference is they're going to execute on it, and you're not. Right? So don't worry about someone wanting to, to steal your idea. Now, I know some of you will push back and say, well, why does that company spend so much money on you know, patents and all that? Because they can and they have the money. Okay? And they're really protecting something. Right? But if he's not worried about Sushi Quick being stolen by someone, if he can make it first, he gets my share. Everything else is a copycat, you see? So you want to get out there right away, you know, uh, uh, generate the buzz, and sell, sell, sell. So I'm going to send um, some links for all of these different things I talked about today. I'm going to send, I'm going to send the article uh, that I used to help uh, prepare for this presentation. And it shows uh, like seven of the top funding sites. And different funding sites that focus on different things. So there's one that actually does focus on real estate, believe it. And uh, Kickstarter is more on you know creative type works. Indiegogo, they do creative. They also do nonprofit. I mean, if you have a nonprofit idea that's worthy, one of the you can get funding for it. You can create a campaign and get people to fund your your nonprofit idea. So uh, that's my spiel on on funding, where to get your money, how to get your money. Let me say it again, please, please, please listen closely. If you are planning to start a business, start stockpiling cash now. Start eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't care what you have to do. But do something to stockpile your cash because you're going to have to reinvest into that business.